Focus is something senior pitcher Caitlin Lee and the 2017 Ole Miss Rebels are not strangers to. Last season, with the help of the energetic right-hander, Ole Miss softball put its name on the map, capturing its first SEC tournament championship. Caught at first! Hottie Toddy Ole Miss wins the SEC championship for the first time! Uh, what she was able to do that entire weekend was impressive, and I really became, I think she became a household name. Um, you know, Kayla Lee was uh, synonymous with, with success um, in the softball world and on the softball, you know, kind of the situation with what we were able to do, and I'm, I'm just proud of what she was able to accomplish. Caitlin has been a huge part of putting this program on, on the national scale, on a national map. You know, people knew her name, people knew who she was, and, you know, anytime you have an athlete in your program that's brought to such light um, because of their success, it just elevates everyone. It elevates the entire program. We were unstoppable with her being on the mound. You play it back over and over and over again, and you get those same chills. Hard hit, knocked down by Lee. Recovers for the out. Ocasio to left. A historic win for the Ole Miss Rebels. Caitlin Lee, a two-hit shutout against the number one team in the country. With a pitcher that nobody else even recruited out of high school. They found her in the JUCO ranks, and she throws every pitch and every fist bump en route to the title. Kate was the glue to all of that last year for sure. I mean, I think every time she stepped out on the mound, we knew we had a chance, and she was going to give us her best game every time she was out there. I don't think that I actually sat down and thought about everything that happened last year until summertime, and um, where I had a lot of time to think. And so it just, it all goes bigger than my brain has ever thought, so I've never even thought it. The more weight on my shoulders, I feel like it, the, the better I do. Um, so. And, and it's just it's just more fun. The number one thing that makes her successful is that she's not afraid of anything. She's a fearless uh, pitcher and I think for me that's the number one thing that she has is that she's got no fear and she fears no one when they step in there and she goes attacks the strike zone. And this song makes me laugh. Um, so I'm gonna play it. So if you just listen to the wor the words. At first it starts off, I want to show all of my haters love. So I just think that that's funny. Like, it's not to pump me up, it just makes me laugh. I, I want to show all of my haters love. This song's for you. If you had it like me, now it's in your shoes. I probably hate on me too. If you had it like me, now it's in your shoes. I probably hate on me too. So like, that's all I can think about. It's kind of been a whirlwind in terms of the media. Do you ever get, like, is it ever too much? Are you ever sick of it? Is it ever just like, you know, leave me alone? Um, well, sometimes I would get frustrated, like, after we would win big games. Um, I just really, really, really wanted to celebrate with my team. But other than that, no, besides, I don't want to talk about the losses. Um, like, I, and I don't really like hearing people say, like, like, y'all had a great run. Like, that's like, no, not good enough. Um, because like I expect to like win those two games at UCLA, it still hit like with me like the losses, but it it stung for at least a solid week after we lost. It was that passion and determination that drew her to head coach Mike Smith. In a fall ball game against the Rebels, Lee was able to impress the Rebel coaching staff enough to receive an offer. She threw a couple innings and. She kind of held us, and uh, Taryn said, you know what, she's holding us, and with a little bit of work, I think she could be really good. I just think it was her grit, um, her determination. Um, I loved her energy and enthusiasm when she was in the circle. I saw that she was a leader, um, and she had really good spin, um, good off-speed stuff, and I knew in, a, in our conference, there was a lot of big power hitters, a lot of aggressive hitters, and knew that if we could bring somebody in that was different than a lot of our other pitchers, I felt that she could be successful, and. Um, you look at now what she's been able to do, and I think that was, uh, that was really good for Tara and I to kind of look and, and make that decision on bringing her in. On the campus of an SEC school, Lee wasted little time making an impression on her new teammates. Two simple words were the most noticeable things Lee brought to Oxford with her.
I think she says, ooh ah, ooh ah, ooh ah. It's like ooh ah. <laughs> it took time to get used to. I will agree. You kind of look past that. I mean, not that it's a big problem. I know our players probably thought it was kind of a an interesting little quirk that she had. I don't know what that is. I haven't done that my whole life. I've always grunted, but I've never said that. It's just O O H dash A H H. So if anybody needs to spell it, that's the proper spelling. But <laughs> Odd noises aside, Caitlin Lee has left a legacy for herself not only in Oxford, but nationally. That's just really big. The word legacy is huge for me. Um, it freaks me out, it scares me. You know, Caitlin's just known around town. She's kind of like that, um, the face of our program, and um, she's very humble about it. Um, you know, she's very kind and generous to the people around her. She'll talk to anybody. It's crazy, but it means the world. Um, I just, I, and I forget about it until something happens again, and then I'll forget about it, and then somebody says something again, and so, it's really weird and it, and it puts a smile on my face every time and there's no feeling like it, really. There's no feeling better than, you know, a seven-year-old coming up to the game and she knows your name and your age and your position and your number and she wants to take a picture with you. I mean, if that doesn't brighten your, your day and your world, there, I don't know what could. It's just, it's really awesome.